Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When we do this, we don't expect someone to be constantly harassing us and constantly hacking our technology, constantly stealing our identity, and constantly going after our intellectual property. And the reason we cannot believe it is because we sit there and look at them and go, are you that stupid about the law? And when I say this, I don't mean to be facetious, but I just look at them and go, do you have any idea what could happen to you in a copyright infringement case where you've taken so much content that you will never get out of pain? I mean, really, do you not understand what can happen to you? That any one of my people who know my shit can literally claim against you? And that means it could be me and everybody else in the world who thinks you're an idiot and thinks you need to stop and look at your own life and do your own life. The challenge of people is they always want somebody else's life, but it's not really their right to take it. And openly, God did not give you a life so that you could take other lives, unless, of course, you're in the military protecting American soil. And what are you protecting America for? I believe we're protecting America for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and the opportunity for prosperity and the development of a legacy. But you never create a legacy off of lies and deceit and thievery. So I don't know where you got your ideology of life, but you're off in every way. And the legalities of what you're doing can really ruin your life. And the lethalities of what you're doing can destroy your life and your family's lives. So I would encourage you to stop your hacking. I would encourage you to stop your attacking. I would encourage you to stop your stalking. I would encourage you to stop your municipal mobbing. And I would encourage you to face yourself in the globe of a mirror and go, God, what am I doing here? Because at this point, your life is so screwed by what you've chosen that it'll be lucky for you to get out of it.